Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put together the Strongway 48 inch plug aerator. This tool has been amazing and I've used it for multiple projects around the property. This aerator is built solid, is easy to use, and can be towed behind anything with 12 horsepower or more. I'll go step by step to show you how to put together and show it in use, so stay tuned. First lay out all the parts included in the box. You want to make sure that everything listed in the manual is accounted for. You don't want to get halfway through the build and realize you don't have all the pieces required. Step 1, you'll need to attach a wheel bracket to the middle hole of the axle shaft. The wheel bracket ring must face the shortest side of the axle. Secure the bracket using a 1 quarter inch by 1 and a half inch hex bolt and lock nut and fully tighten. Step 2, you will insert a 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolt from the short side of the wheel bracket. Loosely secure with a lock nut by hand. Don't fully tighten until instructed to later on in the build. Step 3. Starting on the short end of the axle, slide one spool assembly onto the axle followed by the 5.29 spacer tube. Next, slide a second spool assembly followed by a 1 inch spacer and 7 8 inch flat washer. Take note of the direction of the plug knives as they should be facing outwards. Step 4. Begin by sliding a 1 inch spacer tube onto the long side of the axle followed by a 7 8 inch flat washer. Next, slide the middle brace on followed by another flat washer. After that, place the 2 inch spacer tube and spool assembly. Finish the long side by placing a 5.29 spacer tube, the last spool assembly, a 1 inch spacer tube, and a flat washer. Step 5, attach one end plate to one side followed by a spacer and a wheel bracket. Secure both brackets to the axle using 1 quarter inch by 1 and a half inch hex bolts and lock nut. Make sure that the rings of the wheel brackets face inwards. Step 6. Create the wheel assembly by inserting a 1 half inch by 4 and a quarter inch hex bolt through the wheel and secure it with a half inch hex nut. Attach the assembled wheel onto the wheel bracket and fasten with a half inch lock nut. Do the same for the other side of the aerator. Make sure that the wheels are able to spin freely and are not over tightened. Step 7. Move on to the hitch bracket assembly. Attach the hitch bracket to the tongue using two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex bolts and two 5 16 inch lock nuts. Insert the hitch pin through the bracket and the tongue. Secure with a cotter pin. Step 8. Attach the hitch tongue to the bottom of the aerator tray. You will use four 5 16 inch by 1 and a quarter inch hex bolts and two 1 quarter inch spacers for each bolt for the outside four corners of the hitch mount. Use the 3 quarter inch long hex bolts in between the previous bolts as shown. Step 9. Use the 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolts on the remaining middle four holes and secure on the underside with flat washers and lock nuts. Step 10. Attach both end plates to the top tray using 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex bolts, flat washers, and lock nuts. There are a total of two holes per corner for a total of eight connections. Do not fully tighten just yet. Step 11. Place the lift handle through the large opening of the tray slot. Attach the lift handle to the wheel bracket using the bolt that was done in step 2. Then place a 5 16 inch by 1 inch bolt into the top hole of the lift handle and secure with a lock nut. Step 12. Position the aerator back upright and make sure that the handle is able to raise and lower freely. Make sure that all connections are securely tightened. It's been about two years now and I've used the aerator for loosening compacted soil and overseeding and after those two years I could say I'd recommend the aerator. You know there's some pros and some cons to the product. You know, on the negative side the plug knives are only replaceable as far as I know from the manufacturer so if one breaks there is no quick fix. 
And secondly, I've noticed that whenever the tray has a significant amount of weight on it, if I'm trying to get additional depth, the raising and lowering lever of the machine uh, tends to warp under that pressure. However, the machine does the job extremely well. And there's also the benefit of having a core aerator versus just a spike aerator. And you're able to control the depth of the machine up to two and a half inches based on how much weight you add to the tray. And anyone with a lawn tractor, a zero turn mower, or an ATV can utilize this product.